guys, it's Meg and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. Okay, so if you've seen last week's video, you'll know I am in the exact same outfit that I was in that video. But I didn't want to wait to film this video, I just wanted to do it now because I have two record players perfectly sat next to each other on my vinyl unit and I thought it'd be the perfect time to do this video. So if you haven't watched last week's video, which you should do, I will link it down in the description box down below. I did a beautiful unboxing and review of this beautiful Angel's Horn turntable. Again, I'll link it in the description box down below. I do have a cheeky little discount code for you guys. So if you go on Angel's Horn official website, use the code ANGELS with a capital A, then you get 15% off your order. Yeah, amazing if you've seen that video, but today we're going to be doing a battle of the turntables. We're going to be comparing these two record players and seeing which one I think is the better player. So we have the Audio Technica ATLP 60X record player versus the Angel's Horn H00501 Hi Fi turntable. I'm very excited to do this video, so without further ado, let's get started okay so if you're subscribed to my channel or you've watched any of my videos before you would have seen this record play in the background i've had this for two years now i did an unboxing and review of it in full detail so if you do just want to see the unboxing of this record player i'll link that in the description box as well but this was my upgrade turntable from my suitcase crosley record player which i know has not been rated very well we'll just say one thing within the vinyl community is we all need to be very considerate of people's record players there is a lot of hate that goes around with record players obviously there are some that are really high end and the best in the market and there are others that are not so great but it doesn't mean that we should slam people for the record player that they have if people want to enjoy music that way let them enjoy music that way you know there's so many factors when it comes to turntables like there's financial issues involved or it's what they have access to you know it could be anything like that so this video is not in no way shape or form going to be slating any of these record players i love them both <laughs> Um, so there's no way that I want to, you know, discredit any record player over another one. Like, say so example, if you have the Audio Technica LP60 and I say, oh, I think this one's better. That is not to say that this isn't a great record player. Like, there is no shame in any record player. Whatever record player you have, as long as you're happy and as long as you're, you know, you take care of your vinyl and stuff that is all that matters obviously like i said you have some that are better than others but again let's just stop the hate on what record players people have because <laughs> whenever i watch other content creators like talking about their record players they always sound so down about it and they're like yes i know people have commented like hate about my record player it's like there's no need for that the world has enough hate let's not let's not do a hate train please <laughs> okay moving on for disclaimer so let's start with the audio technica lp60 like I said before, this is my upgrade turntable from my Crosley suitcase turntable, which like I said before, so many people told me to burn. <laughs> so I did upgrade to this one. And I will say this is a very, very good beginner's upgrade for a turntable. I can't remember how much I paid for this one, um, but I will put it on the screen of how much it is currently retailing for. Okay, so I'm gonna read some of the features of this turntable from the official Audio Technica website. It has a fully automatic belt drive turntable operation with two speeds, 33 and 45, RPM which basically means you can play 12 inch and 7 inch records on it. It has a die cast aluminum platter. It has a redesigned tone arm base and head shell for improved tracking and reduced resonance. I think that's how you say it. It has integral dual magnet phono cartridge with replaceable diamond stylus. And the stylus is the ATN3600L. It has an AC adapter handles, AC DC conversion outside of the chassis. Reducing noise in the signal chain. That sounds very intelligent. <laughs> Built in switchable phono pre amplifier for phono or line level output. And it also includes a detachable RCA output cable, 45 RPM adapter, and removable hinge dust cover for the needle. I just wanna put a quick disclaimer out there. I am no way a professional in turntables. I know like a good turntable when I see it, and I know like the good features to look out for, but no way near am I a professional. I don't know everything there is to know about record players. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're looking for a super, super in-depth review, this is probably not the one for you. This is just a versus to see which one I think is better in my opinion. Audio Technica also does have an acrylic lid that you can lift up and down with little bumpers so it doesn't scratch the base. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a little bit dusty. Um, I have tried to clean it to the best of my ability, but yeah, just ignore the dust, okay? If you wanted to change the speed of what your vinyl plays out on this player, then it does have a little button on the left-hand side here where you can change it to 33 or 45 RPM. It also has a start and a stop button and it also has a button where you can 
lift the needle up and down. There's also a little toggle on the base of the player and that is where you can change the size of the vinyl that you're about to play. So you can change it from a 12 inch to a seven inch and the needle would automatically go to that adjustment. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but from what I remember from unboxing this two years ago is it does have a little counterweight at the back. Now it is a built-in counterweight, so you can't adjust this. It is just the counterweight is as it is, but more or less it is good that it even has a counterweight because then that helps balance out the needle on the record so it's not even digging in or barely touching it, balancing it out right so the record sounds good. It is on little like stilts, so you can see it has little heightened bases, so it is raised up. So with this record player, you do have to buy the speakers individually. So speakers that I have connected to the Audio Technica are the Edifier R980T speakers. They have served me very well. I have a little like cloth over the speakers. I don't know the official name for this. If anyone can help me out with that, I don't know. <laughs> the design of the speakers is really nice. It's quite sleek. They're like a black wood. You know, they're not offensive in terms of the design. They don't like stick out or anything. They are just simple black speakers. They don't unfortunately match the Audio Technica in terms of its design. You see, the speakers do have silver detailing, so they do kind of complement the Audio Technica, so they're definitely not a bad pairing in terms of aesthetics. Obviously, they are two different companies, so they're not going to be exactly the same. Overall though, the design of the Audio Technica, I really like. I think it's very sleek. You know, it's a great upgrade from a Crosley. Audio Technica, I think as well, is a pretty good record player brand, so definitely, you know, no immediate faults with it. And yeah, like I said, design is sleek. I think it's nice, it's sophisticated, and it will go pretty much any room's aesthetic. We'll come back to Audio Technica in just a second, but now let's move on to the Angel's Horn turntable. Like I said previously, this is the Angel's Horn H00501 Hi-Fi Bluetooth turntable with stereo bookshelf speakers. Angel's Horn were ever so kind and actually gifted me this record player, which I actually cannot get over. <laughs> Thank you so much to Angel's Horn. But I will just say that's not going to influence my opinion on the record player. Just because it was gifted to me, it does not mean that I'm going to favor this one over this one. It's just what I genuinely think is overall better quality and better sound, etc., etc. You know the gist. So let's talk about the design first. I absolutely love the sleek design of this turntable. Similar to Audio Technica, it is on little stilts, so it is raised from the base, which I absolutely love a little bit of height to a turntable. I just think it adds that little bit of extra luxury to it. It also has a large acrylic lid, but the lid actually comes to the edge of the turntable, whereas on the Audio Technica, there is a little bit of a overhang with the base of the record player. Not a big deal, but that is just dependent on your design preferences. You have some nice subtle branding on the top of the acrylic lid, and it does have a smooth up and down motion, but it does feel like a very heavy duty lid. The base of the record player is very sleek. It's a very thin design. It's a walnut colored turntable. You have some Angel's Horn branding in the corner. Very like thin wood design. So it is very nice, very sleek. But unlike the Audio Technica, you don't have any buttons on the edges here, but you do have two little nozzles on the base of the turntable. The first one is your volume dial. And then the second one is where you can change the size adjustments and the sound play of your vinyl. So you have 45 RPM, 33. And one thing that I absolutely love about this record player is it does have an inbuilt Bluetooth feature, which I really, really love. So you can play records, but it is also a built-in speaker. The tone arm on this turntable is a lot thicker compared to Audio Technica. I don't know the exact material it's made from, but it does feel like a metal. It does feel a lot higher quality compared to the Audio Technica, where the Audio Technica tone arm is just like a little bar. It also has a tone arm lift lever. So if you have the arm down, it means that the needle is down, but then if you lift it up, as a little base which lifts the tone arm up if you want to play your record it will automatically hold above the player until you put this arm down and then it will gracefully go onto your vinyl it does have a little built-in clip as well so if you want to secure the tone arm you can it's the same with the audio technica it does have a little tone arm clip but that actually broke off for me so it doesn't have a little clip anymore, but it did. It did come with one. The Angel's Horn turntable does have a counterweight. But one thing that's really good about this counterweight is it is adjustable. So as you play your record, you can adjust the counterweight to how you prefer the setting. So it's very customizable to your personal sound. I really just like the overall base of where the tone arm and the counterweight is. It just seems very technical, but it seems very like it's it's built very sturdily. Obviously, both record players have a drive belt. The platter of the turntable is like a steel metal. I can't remember the exact material it's made of. I'll put it on the screen. 
but it feels very heavy duty, it's very heavyweight. It does also come with a slip mat with Angel's Horn branding, and that's the same for Audio Technica as well. The platter is just a metal, it's a little bit more lightweight compared to Angel's Horn, and it also does come with its own branded slip mat. So this actually came as a set, so the turntable comes with the speakers, so automatically the design is going to be very cohesive because they're made from the same material. The turntable and the speakers all have this um, walnut wood design, so it's all very, you know, cohesive in terms of aesthetics and design. Again, very consistent with the Angel's Horn branding on the front, and they also have the same mesh fabric that is on the front of them. And the speakers do connect into turntable pretty much the exact same as the Audio Technica. They both have the little wires. Um, again, I'll put clips in. <laughs> they both have wires that you insert and they both connect the same way. Okay, so that was a little side by side, just overall talking about each individual player on their own. And now let's go into some comparisons. So let's start with the speakers themselves. As you can see, obviously this isn't too much of a fair judgment just because, you know, Edifier isn't a part of Audio Technica, but these are just the speakers that I have in the moment. The Angel's Horn speakers are taller than the Edifier ones. I think there's too much difference in terms of depth. I think they are pretty much the same. You know what, let's be official right now and get a tape measure. Okay, so the width of the Angel's Horn is roughly under 16 centimeters on the front width, but the edifier is, I think it's about 14 centimeters. Okay, so the depth of the Angel's Horn speakers are just like 15.3, something like that. So the edifier are a little bit longer in terms of depth. So this is like 17.2 centimeters roughly. But I will say one thing that I do prefer about the Angel's Horn speakers is the wires aren't poking out so much out of the back that they're not hitting against the wall, if this makes sense. The edifier where the cable is really thick, it is poking against the wall. So you can't really put the speakers up against the flat wall. There's always going to be a bit of a gap, but also you've got to leave a little bit more of a gap because you can't bend the wire, otherwise it won't sound as good. With the Angel's Horn speakers, where it is just a small wire attachment, it is very thin, so you can put it pretty much almost up against the wall. So it is a bit more sleeker in terms of that design. It's not as pokey. Do you have different designs internally in terms of like the form of the speakers? So if that is something that you're familiar with and you know that, that makes a difference for you when purchasing speakers, then maybe that's great to know. Okay, they're the difference in terms of design now let's move on to the design differences of Angel Horn and Audio Technica. So let's start with the width for the record player. Let's do this in inches. I should have done the inches for the speakers, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so the Angel's Horn is about 16.3 inches, roughly 13.6 13 inches in terms of depth. Now let's measure Audio Technica. So the width from the front is about exactly 14 inches. Depth, so the sides, 13.7 inches roughly. Obviously, like I mentioned before, there is a slight overhang in terms of where the lid sits on the Audio Technica, where the Angel's Horn lid just comes to the edge of the player. Again, that is a personal preference in terms of design, which one you prefer the look of. Lids feel pretty much exactly the same. Obviously, I have had this one longer, so this one feels a little bit weaker where this one is a little bit sturdier, like as I lift it up and down, it feels a little bit more heavy duty, but I have literally just unboxed this and I have had this for a while. So that's a little bit of an unfair judgment. I will say though, what I've noticed with the Audio Technica lid is it becomes dusty very quickly. I'm not talking about in terms of dust landing on it, like that's absolutely fine, but the acrylic lid doesn't stay clear for very long. I've noticed as the years have gone on, it's turned almost like musty. I don't know, it's just, it's turned a bit misty. I don't know if that's my fault. I don't know if that is just the plastic wears over time. I've got no idea, but so far I've noticed that it has become misty and I can't get rid of it no matter how much I clean it. Again, that could be my fault or it could be actually just how the plastic wears, I'm not sure. Obviously, I cannot say that for the Angel's Horn because I've not had this long enough. I've literally only had this a day. So I cannot tell you how the acrylic will hold up, but at the moment it is crystal clear and I hope it stays that way. Okay, lifting the lids up fully. We have the actual players themselves. So let's start with some similarities. Both turntables come with their own branded slip mats. Both turntables have a counterweight. However, the Audio Technica's counterweight is built into the tone arm, whereas on the Angel's Horn turntable, it's adjustable and you can change it yourself. Both turntables come with these little inserts that you can use to play seven inches, which have a bit of a larger hole. I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's the seven inch that I have. This is Michael Jackson Man in the Mirror. As you can see, it has a very large opening. Um, I can't remember what this exact piece is called, but it has 
has a very large insert so that's where these come into play so before you play this record you would put this on the little on the little poke here and it will essentially just hold your seven inch in place so yeah both record players come with these little pieces this one is the audio technicas one and this is the angel's horn piece so as you can see there are different designs but again i don't know if that has a difference in terms of the quality of the play or anything like that but that is how they both look the angel's horn one is thinner where the audio technical one is a little bit thicker one thing i really like is the audio technical one actually sits in the back so it's actually like almost built into the record player itself with the angel's horn i would just like leave it on the side it doesn't have a place for it i will say actually a similarity is both record players have an audio technica stylus as you may have noticed on the angel's horn one there is a little audio technica needle which is really cool obviously the same one for the audio technica so the stylus on the angel's horn one is the at 3600l so the needle on this record player according to online is slightly different so instead of the at 3600l this stylus on this record player is the ATN 3600L stylus. According to the web it says that all of these turntables do not feature tone arm adjustments and come pre-configured from the factory to only work with the ATN 3600L stylus. Even though they're slightly different models in terms of similarity they both have an Audio Technica stylus. The features of the tone arm are different with the Audio Technica so as you can see it is a lot thinner on the tone arm Whereas on the angel's horn, I really like the tone arm on the angel's horn one just because it feels like it's made out of a really nice material. It's still lightweight, but also, you know, it you can feel the quality with it. The technical one, I'm not going to lie, it does feel a little bit cheaper, um, but not so cheap that it's going to fall apart. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it still feels well put together, but it just feels a little bit not as nice quality as the angel's horn. They both have very similar mechanisms in how they lift the tone arm. So on the Audio Technica, you have this button here where you press this and it lifts the tone arm up for you and down and then on the angel's horn if you lift up this little lever here it lifts the tone arm up for you but it doesn't make it obvious that it's moved it but it just means whenever you pull it out it's going to be automatically lifted and then to put it down you'd obviously put the arm lever down i mentioned before the counterweights are different it doesn't feel that heavy i cannot lie um the counterweight on the angel's horn got a little bit more heavy duty and again it is adjustable which is really nice you've got a certain preference of how you like to listen to a record i'd say that is a really nice little feature in terms of changing the size of the record that you're playing the audio technica has a little lever switch you can just switch from a seven inch to a 12 in and on the angel's horn you have a little speed dial where you have the 45 the 33 and you also have the additional feature of the bluetooth which the audio technica isn't bluetooth audio technica you have the simple features of a start stop where the angel horn is just as simple as lifting the arm up and down and in terms of speed this one is a little bit more i will say with the audio technica whenever you're changing from a 12 inch to a 7 inch this one is a little bit more long-winded i'd say because you'd have to change the speed from 33 to 45 if you want to switch the size in record and you also have to change the switch here to make it a 12 inch or a 7 inch so, so whenever you put the tone arm down it's going to automatically go to that that size of record whereas on the angel's horn you literally just turn the speed dial once for the 45 or the 33 and that, and that just automatically just changes the speed and that's the setting for you the angel's horn you would physically put the tone arm down with the angel's horn one with the speed dial you, that is where obviously you do change the speed of the record to match the 7 inch or the 12 inch the difference with this is this is a lot more of a manual record player so you would have to move the tone arm yourself to where the seven inch starts or the 12 inch starts and then you'd put it down whereas this one is a little bit more automatic even though it's a little bit more long-winded with setting it up it is automatic so this one's a little bit more hands-free in terms of setup both of them are very very easy to set up i cannot fault any of them in how difficult they are both were very easy to follow both came with really great manuals yeah setup was so easy i cannot complain about that you can change the volume from the front of the turntable on the angel's horn one just on this little speed dial here whereas on the audio technica i do have to go around the back of the speaker to change change the volume but i can also control the bass on the speakers of the edifier ones whereas these speakers 
they are just as they are i can't adjust them i can't change the base or anything so yeah this has base adjustments this one doesn't both have same similar like wires that are included again i'll put some overlay here so you can see them but they all attach the same way all have the same functionalities in terms of that so yeah i can't fault them in their setups okay now it's time for the sound test so am i going to put the music in this video i really don't want to get copyrighted but i feel like because this is a comparison video you guys need to hear the music so I'll have a little think about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick one seven inch and one 12 inch vinyl. I'm gonna play both albums and singles on each record player and I'm gonna judge which one I think is better. Okay, so let's pick a 12 inch. Okay, so for a 12 inch, I'm gonna play the Weekend Highlights album. And what song should we play? Let's play Say Your Tears. Let's stick with the first track. Let's not overcomplicate it. So I think it has a mix of bass and it also has, you know, great lyrics and the production. Hopefully we'll be able to hear all of that on top. Okay, so let's start with Audio Technica. I know the vinyl is dusty. We're just gonna ignore that. Just change the size to 12 inch. The speed is fine, so I don't need to adjust that. We're going to lift the needle up to move it over. And as you can see, it automatically starts playing. Oops, what's happened? Why are you objecting? Oh, it's cause I click stop. Basically, if you click a button earlier, it like remembers that you've done that. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Little arm, so we'll move that. And then I click this down. Or you can click start, stop, whatever you prefer. Okay, so that is how the vinyl sounds on the Audio Technica. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Now it's time to play the same song on the Angel's Horn. I'm gonna switch the dial to 33. Take the cover off. Okay, so the player is on. Make this little clip off. Lift this little lever up. I'm gonna move this. It's gonna start spinning. I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so that's the sound on the angel's horn. Obviously, I should have cleaned the record when I was testing it on both of them, but it's okay, we move. That one is done. So now let's move on to a seven inch. I did this in the last video, but I want to play it again. Let's play Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. Okay, let's start with Angel's Horn first. Switch the dial. There we go. Lift it up. So that is the 7 inch. Now let's test this on Audio Technica. Audio Technica, your time to shine. Switch it to seven inch, put the speed down, and we're gonna start. Let's put the sleeve down as well. Okay, that was the sound test. I think it's time for an overall judgment on which record player i think is the better one once again if you have either of these record players whatever one i think is better doesn't mean that the, the other one is crap like, they're both good in their own right i think they both got pros and cons and i think overall it's just dependent on your lifestyle or you collect vinyl like there's no right or wrong it is just personal preference so out of having these two i'm gonna say the overall, I prefer the Angel's Horn turntable. Don't get me wrong, I've been a loyal Audio Technica girly for quite some time. I have absolutely loved this record player. I think it's served me so well. I've played so many records on this. And yeah, it is a great turntable. But I just, overall, I prefer the sleek design of the Angel's Horn. I think the sound quality is a lot clearer. I feel this one is a little bit muffled. Like, I thought this was so clear, but comparing the two, I think this one just is that little bit clearer. This one really picks up the bass well. I love the design where you can almost push it up against the wall. Oh, this one does poke out a little bit. Also, I think this one just looks really sleek and I absolutely love the design of it. And I also love that it has a Bluetooth feature. Overall, like I'm so, so satisfied and I'm so, so happy with the sound that it produces. And considering like the records that I was playing were dusty, like I needed to clean them it still picked it up very well. Don't get me wrong, this still sounded, like the record still sounded great on this. And this is a very, very good option for you if you are new into vinyl collecting, you know, and you wanna get a good record player like to start you off. I think this is a great, great option. But if you've been collecting records for quite some time now, I've been collecting for I think about seven, eight years now. 
um, this is definitely a nice little upgrade for me. I can't wait to start playing some more vinyl on her. So that was it. That was my little comparison video of the two turntables. Let me know in the comment section which one you prefer down below. Do you agree with me? Do you prefer the angel's horn or do you prefer the audio technica? Give me your opinions down below. We don't want any hate on this video. Opinions are completely welcome, but no judgment on anyone's personal preference on record players. <laughs> I'll leave the links to both record players in the description box down below. And remember, you get 15% off if you use code ANGELS at checkout on Angel's Horn official website. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new one. Bye!